Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Over the Zero and Thomas G here on Twisted Meadows. We have Thomas G now, excuse me, and we have Thomas G right now spawning over here at the what I'll call the 4 o'clock position as the Green Night Elf player. Meanwhile, we have OEG over, or EV Over the Zero spawning over here at the 7 o'clock position as the um, Grey Undead player. Once again, um, I am doing a live stream. Thanks for um, Radio Zaza or Radio Zaza um, quickly coming into the game right now. I guess he was waiting for me. Um, I think I hear it's late for him right now. I think it's like at midnight when he's listening to me. Anyways, right now we have the Necropolis being built, and I think we're going to be having. No, we are not going to be having any fiends. So it's just a standard crypt build. I do not see a graveyard yet. We have a Wisp now coming out across the mat, coming in from Thomas G. So Thomas G now going to do some scouting right now. We'll see what's going to happen over here in just a second. Most likely going to be an undead Death Knight as the hero. But pretty much recently, I've been seeing very, very interesting hero choices. So if someone tries to change it up on me and not go a Death Knight, I probably wouldn't be as surprised now if as I was before. We do have a Demon Hunter coming in from Thomas G. So Thomas G getting a demon hunter looks like he's going to be going huntresses i don't see any um any other buildings yet so no ancient of wars no nothing so it's probably going to be a huntress and a ghoul now coming out oh that single ghoul will be able to place um with some interesting wait a second 272 hit points on that ghoul okay something's wrong here um i pretty sure the ghoul has more hit points than 272 that just seems like a really weird number someone will have to check with me on this but um do the hit point do the units have different hit points no 120 on the wisp so that wisp is right right on anyways that ghoul um i just can't imagine them having 272 hit points it just seems like a weird number um and radio is that right um let me know type it in if it is right maybe i'm just going crazy right now but anyways that ghoul is now heading back out trying and um, no longer able to take out any of those wisps as they can just run in and out of that gold mine right now we finally have an ancient of war and moonwells being placed down and the demon hunter is now moving out so that demon hunter trying to get some acolyte kills most likely but um e evs um ev over the zero has really really good Good, um, building placement so it's going to be very hard for the demon hunter to even get in there now the death knight now trying to move out going to quickly find this demon hunter mana burn most likely uh, is he going to get a death coil off not quite sure 540 hit points on a death knight yeah um ev over the zero has um is is has less hit points on this death knight 540 is not a standard um standard hit points on a death knight and let's see yeah acolyte 176 um for some reason the undead player just has lower hit points right now i can't um i don't know why i'm already i'm gonna call the game for night elf as night elf seems to have full hit points on his units while that ghoul um while that ghoul has less hit points right now, the, um, right now Radio is also saying that the ghoul should have 420, I think he means 320, and um, 420 seems awfully high. Um, but now that ghoul is now trying to come back in, trying to deal more damage, and the wisp now trying to come back in, getting a nice death coil on that on that um, ghoul, and that ghoul is now once again running back out. But the death knight, um, death knight is um, has, should have definitely have more hit points than this. Not quite sure why over the zero has less hit points. Those skeletons, if he's going to pop up some skeletons, um, it has 144 hit points. Yeah, I think they're supposed to have 180. So yeah, definite um, definite uh, advantage for um, Thomas G right now. So not quite sure what's really going on right there. And a mana burn off on the death knight. Death knight now trying to run away from that demon hunter. Um, death knight does. Not not have boots of speed uh, either either does a demon hunter but getting off two mana burns in sequential is a stay right now but well i'm not quite sure why um, the players would um, opt for lower hit points on their units that just doesn't make any sense right there um, unless they thought that it was not balanced but that really doesn't make any sense now a skeletal minion is going to go t get taken down by archers and that demon hunter is now once again moving back out so that demon hunter uh, coming back into play i'm going to have to watch some of those other replays but yeah that ghoul oh that ghoul might get a surround on that death knight no surround uh, no surround on the uh, demon hunters excuse me now a uh, low hit point ghoul are we going to have a death coil from that death knight no not enough mana on that and that death knight death knight doing a good job with that pathing right now trying to protect that low hit point ghoul ghoul now once again coming back away from that death knight or one from that demon hunter demon hunter almost getting surrounded and now once again trying to push back out both players having or uh, uh, demon uh, the demon hunter has a staff of teleportation able to run back around and now we have archers now coming in another mana burn on that death knight that death knight or the death knight in trying to get pathing on that demon hunter demon hunter has boots of speed right now so that demon hunter is a little bit faster just dancing around right now trying to get a surround off on that um De demon hunter the demon hunter still trying to run around death knight trying to do a little bit of a cat and mouse trying to get 
in front of it in just a second, trying to get him caught up on that pig, not caught up on that pig. And now we're going to have some more skeletons once again being popped up in just a second. Yeah, more skeletons. So, um, yeah, so the hit points on the ghoul is supposed to be 340, and the skeletal minions are supposed to have 180. Over the zero has a lot less um, hit points on his on his units already. Definitely not looking good at the start of the game. The demon hunter has the standard 575, so um, not quite sure um, where this game is going to go. Why they would even have this handicap? Um, I think that's a fairly large handicap. That's almost um, yeah, that's 80% handicap according to Iridi Zaza right now. I can't do the math that quickly in my head, but 68 minus 340, yeah, uh, yeah, about about eight, um, about that much right now. Um, demon hunter now trying to move back out, uh, and now a Pandurian brewmaster gate in front of Thomas G. So um, uh, from Thomas G. Now getting. Another mana burn. So, um, what? Demon Hunter and the Pandurian Brewmaster versus Archers and Ghouls right now. Another low hit point Ghoul able to escape once more, getting focused down, getting taken down by five Archers right there. A nice breath of fire and more Ghouls now falling. But I think it's really the 80% handicap um, that is really just making over the zero look um, look very noobish at this point. Those Ghouls just have so little hit points that their one um, breath of fire and one rally um, equals um, equals a dead Ghoul. And Radio Zaza now trying to to show me that the math is in fact 80%. So um, yes, there is an 80% um, 80 damage um, um, handicap for over the zero. Um, don't even know why that is the case right now. So Thomas G, um, I'm surprised that the Demon Hunter is still only level one. I would have suspected that the De Demon Hunter would have been able to get to level two already by taking down these very, very low hit point ghouls. Um, um, Demon Hunter once again running to the back. Um, Pandurian Brewmaster may get to level 3. No, does not look like it's get to level 3 as the um, Death Knight now trying to do some chasing as well. Uh, Noel Overseer now trying to come in from the back. Demon Hunter may get surrounded. Not quite sure here, but if that Pandurian Brewmaster gets level 2 Breath of Fire, consider this game over, especially uh, especially with the handicap difference. With nice, nice detonation coming in and a Breath of Fire missing, maybe hitting that one, one of those ghouls. Ghoul just uh, taking so much damage. Very, very low hit point ghoul. And now, um, once again, over the zero, just already fighting with this uphill battle. Not, not quite sure what's going on here. Lich is going to pop out in just a second. And the Lich, um, most likely going to train Frost Nova or Frost Armor. And the, once again, the army is going to once again move back out. But still, this is, this is just... I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it feels like there's already a weird handicap. I'm, I'm not a fan of undead players, but, right, um, or night elf players for that matter. Um, you guys already know my bias, but that's because I'm a human player. But um, I think it would, I think right now the over the zero is just having such a hard time trying to deal with a single demon hunter. That demon hunter able to deal so much damage to those, to those ghouls right now. A single ghoul now trying to run away, able to get picked up by that zeppelin. So very nice micro coming in from that um, over the zero trying to save his um, low hit point ghoul. And now getting a Frost Nova on that Lich, very low hit point Lich right now. Perhaps we'll get some um, Frost Novas on that on that single unit, trying to take down that Rock Golem. Rock Golem's going to go down. Tome of Experience picked up by the Death Knight and a Sobe Nast. Very nice items. And once again, going back into that Goblin Zeppelin, trying to finish off the rest of these creep camps. Um, Lich is going to most likely head back in real, in just a second. And now we have statues joining this army, and the Death or, or the Demon Hunters going to once again be forced to pull back. Meanwhile, we have this Pandurian Brewmaster now sitting at level three. So Pandurian Brewmaster at level 3 is going to use that Breath of Fire very effectively against those ghouls and not many other counter units at this point. So I do not see any additional statues and no additional ziggurats being planted anywhere. So I don't think he's... Oh, there's an additional ziggurat. But still, I'm not quite sure what Over the Zero can really do at this point. Has a Sobe Mask, has... Has a Sobe Mask is going to get that Orb of Corruption in just a second on that Lich. Most likely, no, yes, sometimes on Tuesdays. Not quite sure. So, um, try, uh, Orb of Corruption on the Death Knight um, should be transferred to that Lich as it does have a better range attack. And now we have the armies coming out right now. Thomas G coming in with a couple Archers and a Pandarian Brewmaster. Archers are still doing that full damage. Down goes a single Archer from a Frost Nova Death Coil. And we have a nice Staff of, um, staff of, what, staff of Preservation to save that... Wait, no... I thought I saw yeah, Staff of Preservation coming in from the Demon Hunter. And now that Demon Hunter now trying to once again run back. Demon Hunter is level 2. Has zero armor due to that Orb of Corruption right now. Trying to re-engage. 
Demon are now moving back to the north. We have um, Druid of the Claw joining in with that army. So Thomas G getting Druid of the Claws. Are we at Tree of Eternity yet? Uh, yeah, at Tree of Eternity. Going to get Mastery, Bear Training. Um, no, do, are they already at Master? They just finished getting the Master. Last time I checked, they were not. Mana Burn back down on that um, on that Lich. And right now, Rejuvenation being casted. Bears in Bears form trying to deal some damage. Down goes another low hit point Ghoul. And now Destroyers are now trying to fly away. Those Destroyers, um, those Destroyers taking a lot of damage over time from that Orb of Venom right there, taking, um, uh, receiving a lot of damage, and the Death Knight still not quite sure how to really play this. Um, stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Over the Zero and Thomas G here on Twisted Meadows, even though I think Thomas G definitely is going to take this one.